Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today we're going to have a look at something Jurassic World related and we're going to have a look at the Jurassic World Danger Pack Dino Trackers Pararaptor. Um, they, these Danger Packs are finally out in Smiths. I've actually done a review on this one and I have got next to go this one. So please like and subscribe to my channel for more toy related stuff and more toy episodes. And these are finally out in the UK. And um, they are quite pricey. I said on my previous video, these are $14.99 from Smith's. I think that is a lot of money for just a danger pack figure. Um, even like the what I call the Savage Strike ones, they're cheaper. They're only £12 and these ones are £15. The pricing's just a bit off in my opinion. Um, but yeah. The Dino Trackers packaging is pretty much the same. We have the little logo here with the jungle theme. And you can absolutely imagine this coloured scheme, Power Raptor, being in the jungle. Um, these are the other available figures. Obviously, this one shows the desert one. And I show, I've just done a review on that one. And I definitely can see that one being in the desert. And then, obviously, the, is the scan code. So, I can show you the scan code. So, you can pause away and scan away into your Jurassic World Facts app. But without further ado, I'm going to get this awesome figure out the packaging. So everyone, I have got this amazing figure out the packaging. Um, I, it's my first time being introduced to this um, figure. When we had the um, Jurassic World Dominion figure come out and there was loads of them. Um, there was loads of them in different packs. I actually still couldn't get my hands on them. I can get my hands on it now, but they are a little bit pricey and they are only in odd retail places. For some reason, Smiths didn't sell them and that's mostly where I buy mine from. They are on Amazon, but they are just a little bit pricey. So I am going to try and get my hands on the on the original colours, but obviously this is the new colours and it gives me tropical parrot vibes. It's really such a nice figure. I really like how they've done the colour scheme because it works really, really well with the feathering detail and the feathering sculpt. So we have this really nice blue colour, this nice yellow colour, and then we have the um, black. It's like a dark black grey, which really complements the the um, like blue and yellow colours, makes it really pop. And then we've got the nice white striped colours going around the eye. And then some nice painted orange eyes, as you can see here. The orange eyes do make that dark colour pop. And then we've got some nice sculpting around the jawline. We've got some feathering detailing here. And then these are the teeth. You all probably know how the um, this figure all works because... We've had it a few times, but obviously I'm still very new to it. And for new people who are new to these toys, they might want to see this as well. This review as well. Um, got some nice feather and detail at the top of the head. You can really see nice details um, of the feathers sculpting there. And then going down the rest of the body. And then the tail is nicely done as well. Mattel does a good job on these figures overall, as we can see there. Um, I'm sorry for the noise in the background. And then the arms are one of my favourite bits because I really like how they've done the feathering on the arms. Claws not painted, like I've said a million times in my videos. Sometimes it bothers me and sometimes it doesn't. On this one, it does bother me on the bottom feet because I think it needs, um, like, some type of... Because it just looks like one yellow leg, if that makes sense. So, if they added this, like, grey-black colour just on the bottom, it would look really cool. But on the top, um, on the arms, they don't really bother me because they crouch in a little bit. And they're in a dark blue colour. So you can't really see them that much anyway. But at the bottom, it would be nice if they added this colour at the bottom. If you're into, if you're good at customization, or even just simply, like, that is easy to do if you want to fix it with, like, some paint or, like, some type of pens. Sometimes I use, like, a Sharpie on the claws if the colour, if the claws are really bothering me. Um, but, yeah. 
I really do love the coloured scheme. Um, and this blue colour would be nice if they added stripes going down the legs. Because I like how they've done the striped colour in on the yellow going through the blue. So it would be nice if the blue went down on the top bit of the thighs. So it's got pros and cons this figure. But it's got more pros than it has cons. It's, they're just like little picky things. And then articulation wise we have the swivel in the tail. Which seems a little bit pointless to have. In my last review I actually said how I actually like the swivel. Oh. Sorry about my camera again. Um, I actually like the swivel because of the way they've sculpted this tail. It's got this curve to it so it just look like it's got some type of swing to it. But on this one, it's because it's a straight tail, um, it actually makes no sense for it. But you can kind of pose it if you wanted it a little bit like it's turning its tail a little bit. Um, and obviously you can move the legs back and forth um, in a running action move the arms up and down and the head can go that far up that far down and you can crouch it down as well um and you can lift its body up a little bit more like that as well but it kind of just looks cool being crouched down and looking menacing um and then we can articulate the jaw however you want and you can swivel the head all the way around so overall a very very cool figure um colored scheme i give it a 10 out of 10 articulation i give it a 10 out of 10 the um paint app i would give it a 9 out of 10 what i mean by paint app is just add a little bit of paint on the feet add a little bit um, add a little bit of blue stripes going down the leg so it just doesn't look like one tongue one blue here and then one yellow there if you know what I mean. But yeah, overall, I absolutely love it. I am going to get a few of these because I like my smaller kind of ours, um in like little packs. I like my Yerba balls in, multi um, in more, more numbers, shall we say. And I like my big one, my bigger kind of ours in um, just, just as one, really. Unless they come up with other colours. Um, the scan code. I don't know if I showed you the scan code. So I'll do it that again. The scan code to get on this one. Is quite hard. Like you can't get your nails in. And it actually hurts to do all that. But I have done it. So there is the scan code. So you can pause away and scan away. I'm hoping that has catched that. But yeah, if you want to get your hands on this awesome figure, the coloured scheme, I personally like both of them. Um, obviously, I haven't experienced the original one in person, but hopefully I will. Um, please follow me on my Instagram, which is Liam underscore Magpie. And please like and subscribe to my channel for more toy related stuff and more toy episodes. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, guys.